Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Half Penny uh, Hunt. So I've been through uh, the this selection, got rid of all of the uh, 1960 and onward coins because we don't want any more of them because um, we're not interested in them and yeah this is a bit of a bigger pile so we're gonna get straight into it. I haven't looked at any of the other dates on here so uh, it's still a bit of a mystery of what is coming out, uh, up. Um, when I say I haven't looked at the dates I haven't like paid attention uh, I just skimmed through them if it's um, 1960 or above uh, I'd take them out of the pack. Okay so what do we start off with? We're starting off with a 1902 um, and like the previous hunt I think it was uh, this is one that we need to go on our um, board next to me uh, it's also a key date that we need to have a look for and would you look at that it is one of the key dates uh, that I need to look at um, <clears throat> so oh, yeah, yeah it is it's one of the key dates I need to look at um, oh no, it's not one. It's not one of the ones. I got a little bit overexcited there. Um, so this one, 1902, has a variant which has a low tide. Um, this is a high tide edition of the coin. Um, so you can see the watermark is uh, where Britannia's legs cross. Um, there's a, a, a version where the water level is a little bit lower down. Uh, down the knee and uh, that's the one we're looking out for called a low tide but this one although it fills one of the spots on the book it's not one of the coins that are rare so I can go there um, a 1959 don't really need a new 1959 ship might be a little bit better quality it really it matters so get rid of that for now um, nine, uh, 58 I'm not looking at that 56 not really looking at that I think I'm just gonna go through them and uh, uh, I can do it in another run where I can look for better quality ones for it at the moment this is mainly just we're doing the date run we're looking for the rares uh, a 57 now a 57 we need to look out for um, it's a key date. We're looking for a low, uh, not a low tide, a, uh, a calm sea. Um, this one is a rough sea. Uh, you can see the sea is a little bit rough, not, not too good. If we were to compare it to a different coin, for example, the 1938, you can see the sea is a lot uh, calmer, the lines are more flat. Whereas if you look at the 1957, they're a bit uh, rougher. Um, so there's a version of the 1957 where the uh, where you get the calm seat. Um, right, let's carry on. Uh, try to find the best focal point here. I think it's around about here. Doesn't really matter. I don't think uh, too much. Let me just double check the camera to make sure you get the best possible quality you can give you with my cheap webcam setup. But <laughs> All right, I think that's pretty much the best we're going to get it. Okay, we've got 1956. I'm not really interested in that. Uh, 1943, not too interested in that. Uh, 45, not too bothered about that one. Um, 1920, mm -hmm. the ones we're really interested in are the early, the early years, uh, 1860 uh, to, to 1900 really. Uh, 1950, we've got one of them because that sheet is all done up. And then one of them. Uh, what else do we have? A 58. We've got a 43. We've got a 38. We've got a 59. We've got a 57. And we've got a 32. Uh, we've got a 57. Oh, 57. We need to keep an eye out for that. Um, did I miss a few more 57s? Um, I can see one there. Nothing. It's not a, it's not a calm sea. Uh, just quickly count through all the others. 
no, we're okay. We're okay, we didn't miss anything. This one also is a rough C, unfortunately. Uh, we've got a 38. We've got a 39. Uh, we've got another 57. Uh, that is a rough C, though. Uh, we've got a 29. I have a 29 already. Uh, 1918, I have one of them. 29, what's happened here? 29, I've got one of these, but that looks uh, a little bit non-circular, doesn't it? Um, interesting. I'm gonna keep that one, <laughs> keep it in the oddities. Uh, we've got a 59 and a 52. What else do we have then? What's next? Uh, another 59. Uh, a 29. A 36. A 53. A 50. And a 59. Oh, it feels like we're at bingo. Um, maybe we should do a bingo game with uh, these cards. I feel like you could. Jumble them all up. And be like, all right, have you got 1947? No. <laughs> and then we'll, uh, we can play bingo with it. I think this is a 1912. I have one of them, but don't need that one. 17, don't need that one. Uh, 1909, I think that one actually might replace the one I've got. Yeah, that's going to replace the one I've got. 1909, there you go. Definitely read a lot more detail on that one. So that one can go on the board. All right, what's next? 44. 39. Uh, 1920. Do I have one of them? Uh, a 42. 38, 53, that one looks a lot better, um, I'm going to put that one there, like that, um, right, 41, 50 and 58. We got here 1920. 1904. Oh, we have a 1904. Uh, a 48. A 43. And a 59. Uh, this one has got a bit of a damage on it. 31. We don't need a new one of them. 41. 55, 44, Ooh, what is this? Is this a 1915? 1915, bit of a battered up one. Uh, a 50, a 36, uh, oh dear God, what's happened to this coin? Uh, and a 32, luckily we don't need one of them, but it's a weird wacky coin, it goes in the oddities box. Okay, um, thirty-one, thirty-eight. Got one of them. Forty-one. Got one of them. Fifty-eight. Got one of them. Nineteen sixteen. I've got one of them. Uh, a fifty-nine. Got one of them. Forty-two. Forty-three. And a 1905. This is another new one that we need for the board. 1905, nothing, no key date or anything. It's just one I need for the date run. Uh, 10 million of them minted. All right, let's keep going. 
Uh, 58. 49. 50. 59. 58. I feel like I'm in autopilot mode if I miss any key dates. Um, somebody stop me. But it's going to be too late by the time um, you guys watch this. 31. We've got one there. 54. Uh, 45, 59, uh, 21, we have a 21, uh, a 59, 19, 19, uh, a 51, uh, a fifth, uh, 43, got one of them. Uh, a 37, got one of them, 56, got one of them, 28, Ooh, got one of them, just checking the quality of the one I've got, 54, nothing special about 54, and 20, alright, nearly there, I'll take another few, uh, 59, uh, 1905. Oh, we did have a 1905. I know that one's a little bit more battered, but there's more detail on there, isn't there? And I think I'm going to keep the one with more detail. Uh, what's this one? 50 or 30? 39. Uh, 50 and 31. Uh, no, 9. What's this dirty coin? 27. Got one of them. 26. Got one of them. 39. Got one of them. 59. 54. 48. 28. 49, 59, 44, 43, 47, 29, 33. Let me check the 33. Yeah, about the same. All right, I'll have a quick look at this one. 39, 42, 28. I've got a big line down the middle of it. 49, 58, and what is this? 28. Okay. 59, 30, uh, 43, 28. 28 or 38? Some eight. 48. One of them. Uh, 40, uh, 42. And then on the last little bit now. 52. 45. 20. 59. 43. 47. 46. 36. 59 uh, 42 41 that's an interesting coloration isn't it I quite like that I like that it's nice I put that in my keep that one in my order tees um 48 and that concludes uh, today's handful of coins um, so a couple of more dates filled up um, we're four off of filling uh, the second sheet so we're getting there we're over halfway on the old dates run now so yeah it's going pretty well um, all that is left then is to say if you enjoyed this video give it a like uh, give the channel a subscribe it helps me and the channel out 
um, tells me that you keep wanting these videos and doing these coin hunts. Um, all that is left then, after that self-promotion, is to say have a good day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.